Do you know God? Yes, it might seem like a strange question, I know, but yet I ask again, do you know God? And no, I don't mean do you know of him. I don't mean have you heard others talk about him. I mean, do you know him? Do you know God? Do you know his character? Did you know he's full of grace and mercies which flow down from his throne above like a waterfall? Did you know he's loving and he is the mighty one who saves you from the hands of the enemy every second of every day of every year of your life? Did you know he formed every curve and every edge of your body that you sometimes love and you sometimes loathe? But did you know that he so perfectly laid it all down right from the beginning of time before you even knew his name? Did you know he's a consuming fire and that he can annihilate everything that stands in his way? That he alone is the righteous and the holy one. That he is the one true God who does not and will not share his glory with anyone. Did you know that there is none like him in the earth or in the heavens or under the earth because he is God and God alone and he has no equal? Did you know he's the way, the truth, and your life supports? Yes, the one who fills your lungs with the breath that you so unconsciously take without realizing. That breath that you can sometimes take for granted. Yes, he is the source of your very own life. He watches over you. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. Do you know God? Do you know his word, his word that he breathed out, which is alive and active, his word which is sharper than a double-edged sword, his word which divides soul and spirit and cuts between joint and marrow. Did you know that his word brings life and hope and it teaches, corrects, rebukes and trains you to do what is right? Did you know that his word exposes your innermost thoughts? and that it judges the thoughts and attitudes of your heart do you know God do you know what he thinks of you his thoughts towards you his promises for you his plans for you do you know you are the apple of his eyes his treasure his beloved do you know you are precious to him and that he promised to dethrone kings and overthrow kingdoms just for your sake remember that the next time you look in the mirror and call yourself worthless because the god who created you thinks otherwise and that is Final. So I ask again, do you know God? Do you know what he did for you? How he suffered for you on that cross? How he so willingly went on the cross to pay the price for your sins? Do you know what he has promised you? Life and life in abundance, free from tears, free from sorrow, free from pain, a life free from persecution do you know how much he loves you how he has chosen to love even you with all your flaws and imperfections which make you a unique wonder do you know how he wants to have an intimate relationship with you do you know how much he knows you your thoughts before you think them your actions before you do them and even those mean words before you say them And do you know he calls the strands of hair on your head by name? That's amazing, isn't it? So permit me to ask again, do you know God? It's not enough just to know about him and never call him your own, yours. But if you don't know him, it is not too late. Your heavenly father is waiting with open arms today. He's calling on you to come home and experience the glory he has prepared for you. He's calling on you to come home and experience life and life in abundance.